I just realized that I have not vlogged at all this week. We're going to go ahead and fix that. All right, my face is probably really red right now, but that's just the the joys of being fair skin and it being like 40 degrees out here. And I've been able to get some really, really good shots with these drones. And I gotta say, like, even though it's only the standard, today I'm actually getting a like range booster for the drone, like for the remote control for the drone. So technically it's gonna make it go a little bit further, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, but for right now, we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the car. I need some lunch or something. I haven't eaten anything all day. So that's pretty much what we're gonna go do. All right, so we got the package in the mail from Blue Proton. If you guys are interested, this is gonna be in the description. The link to this will be in the description. Uh, it's basically just a range booster for the Wi-Fi signal on the drone, so. As you can see there, kind of, let me, uh, yeah. It is the Blue Proton Wi-Fi and Signal Range Booster. So basically, all I have to do is take apart my controller and hook this stuff up to it. I'm gonna eat dinner really quickly and I'm gonna change the battery on this camera and then we are, or I'm gonna try to do like a how to put this together type thing. If not, we'll just cut to whenever I'm ready to start testing it out. Unfortunately, the mail ran at like 520, so I'm not really gonna be able to go out and test it the way that I wanted to like today. Um, or, I mean, I probably could test it, but it would just be really dark and I wouldn't be able to record anything. But, definitely recording with the drone tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is the inside of the Phantom Controller. So I'm kind of watching, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm kind of watching a tutorial video on how to do this at the same time trying to make this video right here. So it's kind of like a video inception in a way. Um, so really quickly, I've, there's three different sets of wires that I have to disconnect right here. Um, I've marked the two wires right here, uh, with a T and a B for top and bottom, because that's the bottom and that's the top. And then I didn't mark over this one over here because, uh, it's on the side. So I just have to disconnect these, which... Could end up being a slight pain in the ass. All right, so get my screwdriver. As you can see here, here, and here, we've already applied the hot glue, and that has definitely dried. It was only like a minute or two ago that I applied it. It's definitely dry now, though. And that's pretty much all you have to do besides obviously putting everything back together. We're going to go ahead and screw on some of the antennas and I know that it's dark outside and everything, but I'm kind of interested to know what kind of range I can get. So I'm probably going to end up going out and testing it. Probably not going to end up putting any video in it, but don't worry because there will be video tomorrow. All right, so that's basically the finished product. The antennas are now on the drone. This is trying to get all that in the same shot. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, that's the remote. And now I'm going to try to test it out and see what kind of range I can get. That is gonna be our destination. We're gonna go there. We're going to fly the drone, we're going to test the remote. Should be cool.
Okay, so this wasn't exactly the area that I wanted to come to, but it is an area that I am familiar with at least. So we're gonna go ahead and fly the drone here. It's not really like a park or anything, it's just like a roundabout near a hotel. Check out these cool solar panels though. It's a cool little area. I've flown the drone here before and everything looks good, so we're gonna try it out again. Time to land this thing before it like cuts me in half. As far as range is concerned, um, I didn't really get to test out the range too much on this today. Um, although I did notice a big boost in signal performance. So if you have a drone like this and you wanna get better distance on it and overall, I guess, better connectivity throughout your entire flight, definitely invest in this. It's a good investment. I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. It didn't really come with instructions, but you can find videos on YouTube and everything on how to do this. So yeah, that's pretty much my review for this thing. Nine out of 10. Include instructions next time, but nine out of 10. That's pretty much gonna be it for today's video. I know that it was short, uh, but like I said, I did not vlog throughout the entire week. I've been trying to set up some other stuff, more things that you guys will be hearing about on the channel and about, well, tomorrow. I'm gonna upload a video tomorrow. That's right. But anyways, guys, that was today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it, or this week's vlog, rather. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next one. Oh, also, don't forget to check out the video explaining what's gonna be going on coming out tomorrow. And thumbs up, because my face is probably really red. Later.